rende rembo korombe kere mongo shandi eke keke rende rembo korombe kere makatandi makondo rembo korombe kere makashiki rende rembo makatanda father let the fire fall let the fire fall let the fire fall let the fire fall in jesus mighty name we have prayed you're going to lift your voice to the almighty god and say father any agents of the devil hibernating under the canopy of the church of christ let the fire fall on them let the fire fall anyone pretending to be a child of god pretending to be a christian but who is actually an agent of the devil lord god almighty send down your fire today let the fire fall cleanse your church lord god almighty every plant you have not planted must be rooted up send down your fire please my father and my god let your churches become what you meant them to be pure uncorrupted any infiltrator my father and my god let the fire burn them all let your fire fall lord let the fire of the almighty god come upon all those who are corrupting your churches who are parading themselves to be the church of christ when they are actually synagogues of the devil lord send down your fire let the fire fall almighty god let the fire fall today let the fire fall today let the fire fall and burn up everything that is not of god in all your churches do it today lord you are the lord of hosts show the whole world that you can take care of your own oh my father and my god let your fire fall purify your churches purify your churches this very moment particularly the church of christ that is in nigeria the body of christ the true body of christ in nigeria purify oh lord do it my father and my god in jesus mighty name we have prayed lift your voice to the almighty god and say father you promised us that the gates of hell will not prevail against your church every enemy of the church destroy open your mouth and cry to the almighty god every enemy of the church in nigeria my father and my god destroy today destroy today destroy today all those who are focusing on the church of god for the purpose of destruction father destroy them first destroy them first what you promise us is that the gates of hell will not prevail against your church lord god almighty arise fulfill your promise don't let the gates of hell prevail oh every enemy of the church in nigeria in particular destroy almighty god don't spare them don't spare them every evil agenda against your church consume it with fire almighty god all those who are focusing on your church for the purpose of destruction destroy them first let your fire consume them let your fire consume them let your fire consume them right now right now even as we pray let your fire consume them please lord god almighty fulfill your promise fulfill your promise fulfill your promise thank you my father in jesus mighty name we have prayed and then lift your voice to the almighty god and say father empower your church in all churches let miracles become commonplace go ahead open your mouth and cry to the almighty god empower your church lord oh lord god almighty your church should be your hospital the church should be the hospital of the almighty god it should be a place of healing a place of deliverance 
a place of breakthrough, a place of fruitfulness. Empower your church, O oh Lord. King of glory, empower your church. Let miracles become commonplace in all your churches in Nigeria. Let miracles happen on a daily basis. Heal miraculously. Deliver miraculously. Make the barren fruitful. Set the captives free, O oh Lord. When the enemy is pursuing anyone and they run into any of your churches, immediately let there be deliverance. Empower your church. Revive your church, O oh Lord. Let the miracles begin again. Let the miracles begin. Rambo Koronde Remoko Shente. Make a Rondra Makakoto Ronde Remakakato Ronde Kemanka Shata. Please, Lord God Almighty, revive your church. Empower your church. Do marvelous things, Lord. Oh, my Lord and my Savior, revive your church today. Do marvelous things for your church. To the glory of your holy name, do marvelous things in your church. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Lift your voice to the Almighty God and say, Father, your word says in Genesis 11, verse 6, that because the people were of one language, because they are united, nothing they want will be withheld from them. Pray loud and clear, say, Father, unite.